Okay, in this video, we're going to look at arcs. Now, arcs can be quite complicated, so I'm setting the video off at the end rather than the beginning. And you can see what we're going to try and draw. We've got two abutments. So we've got one abutment on this side. We've got one abutment on this side. And then we have a little humpback bridge to go over the water. The water being the blue rev cloud that I've put in the bottom of there. So an arc is simply a prescribed part of a circle. So if you need to do this on paper, you grab a pair of compasses, put one end of your compass at the centre and draw an arc between one point and another point. Unfortunately in AutoCAD there's lots of ways of doing this and it can get quite complicated and you can sometimes end up with your arch or arc being in the wrong place. So just to prove that it is actually part of a circle, I've drawn on another layer a circle in yellow. So you can see here the yellow circle follows the path of the arc between the two points on the abutment with the centre of the circle being the grey circle in the centre. So I'm going to hide that for now so we can't see the circle. I'm going to delete the arc and here we are at our beginning point. So we're going to go to draw, we're going to go to arc, and this is where it gets quite complicated. So read the instructions on the screen, it says specify the first, uh, the start point of the arc. So I'm going to start over here, this should work, I'm going to click tap. So now it asks for a second point of the arc or the centre. So in this instance we know where the centre is, so I'm going to click centre, and then I'm going to select the centre part of our diagram, Tap. Now it asks for the third, the, the end point of the arc, and we can see now why this command has suddenly become quite complicated. It's drawn it upside down. It's drawn it the wrong way around. So let's delete that and try this again. So this time I'm going to look at where I want the arc to go, and I'm going to have to look at which is the positive direction. And I'm going to have to start from the other side. So I'm going to go to draw, arc, to click on my start point, start. I'm going to center point it back in the center. I'm going to end point it on the other end of the bridge. And you can see now how it's actually worked. And it's a bit odd, and you've got to think about which way around the angles go. So look back in the interactive books and look at the page on angles to understand what I've just done. Right then, that only works if you know where the centre is. Imagine you don't know where the centre is, but you know how high you want your bridge to be. So I'm going to delete the bridge again, click on any raise, and I'm going to put in some construction lines. If you want to know how to do these, they're in another video, but I'm going to turn on my construction lines now. I've got a line between the two abutments and I've a line perfectly in the centre and I've drawn a line the height that I like my arc to be. So this time I'm going to click draw, arc once more. Now it doesn't matter so much which side we start from this side this time. So I'm going to start back over here as if I'm going over the bridge. Now this time after I click tap I'm not going to put a centre in and I'm not going to put an end in. I'm going to tell AutoCAD a second point. And because it knows that we're going from the first point to the second point, this is how it knows the direction. So I'm going to click the second point as the top, the peak of my little bridge. Now it's asking me for the end point of the arc. And you can see now I can drag it over to the end using snaps again, select the other side of the bridge, click on enter, and there I have it, we've got our bridge. So I'll just hide my construction lines. There's my finished bridge, this time without using a centre. So if we use a centre, we've got to go in the angle of orientation. If we use in point to point to point, AutoCAD knows which way you're drawn and draws it the correct way. This takes a lot of practice to work with arcs, and sometimes it's actually easier to just draw that circle. So I just put the circle back on screen just to show you where the circle was. 
circle from the center. Sometimes it's easier to draw that circle then simply use the trim command to trim away the circle and leave the arc. So have a practice with this one. It'll take a lot of getting used to before you're comfortable 